This is a, an example of a uh, support vector machine uh, C-sharp uh, project that I used to learn uh, how to get a support vector machine to do something. Uh, this source code is going to be up on GitHub. I'll have the link uh, in the comments section. And um, this is just an example of, uh, again, you know, looking at things online, you know, seeing examples online and uh, trying to get everything to work. So, uh, and, and see how it works. So this is in C Sharp, that's the environment I use. And it's essentially lib SVM. Uh, uh, there's some links I'll have in the, the description as well uh, to where you can learn a little bit more about what SVMs, uh, how they're supposed to work. Uh, I've already studied that. And I'm not necessarily going to go into great detail with this video on how they work. Uh, you can you can figure that out for yourself online. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a Visual Studio uh, 2015 project uh, running uh, .NET 4.0. Uh, there is uh, going to be a package that you're going to need to download, which is the uh, libsvm, uh, and you can find that um, uh, using uh, Visual Studio's Nougat. Uh, but with this project, all you should really have to do is just uh, update uh, your uh, packages uh, for this particular solution and it should download everything. So uh, essentially what you've got here, this, this example uh, and the link that when you, you read the link that the guy was talking about SVMs, uh, he was trying to do a spam, very crude, very, very crude spam filter and it, it really didn't make that much sense to me. So I modified um, this code uh, it says you know is spam here but it's I'm not really using it for spam I'm using it uh, for kind of a crude sediment analysis and um, uh, the it's basically text classification is what it's doing and uh, I'm going from a, a negative two all the way to a positive two uh, in my data. So it's it's using the lib SVM, but uh, it's not a a zero to one uh, classification, and it kind of seems to work. Anyway, the the data is something like this. This this uh, CSV file is in needs to be in your bin uh, debug directory. And I just put these values in here myself. And as you can see, I uh, we have negative twos, we have negative ones, we have zero, uh, we have plus one, plus two, things like that. So all of this data right here, as you can see, it's comma separated. Uh, and uh, you're, there's a, another uh, package that you need to download that uh, loads this SV, uh, CSV data in, which is this uh, data access uh, class. Anyway, uh, if you update your packages, everything should be gold. So, uh, what this thing does is it, it's going to load in the data from the CSV file and it's going to build uh, I, the uh, SVM model and then you can type in uh, something on the command line and it's going to kind of predict what it thinks 
um, you know, what category uh, the, the text that you're typing in uh, should be. So this is just a very simple console app and it's again a little bit different from what the original gentleman had put in place which was sunny you know isn't sunny and I, I just couldn't wrap my head around that it just wasn't making any any sense to me or you know why it would be useful for anything but this seems like it's a little bit more useful obviously if you build your models with more data than just this little bit here uh, then I you could probably use this in a little chat robot uh, that's analyzing what you're saying in parallel with some other uh, logic and uh, turn around and kind of understand uh, what your sentiment is you know what's what's not just looking up text and and spitting out a response but kind of learning a little bit about you know whether you're angry or sad yada 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 so anyway I, I this is on github and I thought I'd just put it out there okay when you run the executable in Visual Studio uh, you're going to see a console window come up and I had to break this video up because uh, I wasn't recording the console uh, window. So anyway, uh, you can come in here and type something like that and it's going to give you a prediction of uh, what it thinks. Since you're happy. Predicts love. Of course, love's in, in the, the text you just typed in. Um, so you hate cheese. It says you're angry. And uh, again, you can you can go on and on. If you have obviously more information in your model, okay, it says you're sad. It predicts you're sad, but they're sad. Yeah, see, prediction normal. So you can play around with it, and you're obviously going to have to put some of these words in sentences and load them into the model uh, so it can uh, kind of figure out what your uh, sentiment is, what your mood is. But, you know, again, I just thought this was kind of interesting. And the original software, once it was tweaked, started behaving you know, a little bit differently and this to me is kind of something useful. So to change the model up, uh, obviously what you have to do is go into this CSV file and uh, add some, uh, some more input. So basically what I did is I went out to the internet and found some one-line statements that had, you know, whatever it was, happy sentiment in them. And you basically take those sentences apart and break the words out and put the commas in there. Now, I, I don't... Uh, I don't know if the model will change if you put in the entire sentence. I don't know if the behavior will change. Uh, the, it seems like it does a little bit. Uh, so you can experiment with just putting in the particular words and also putting those words into little sentences and seeing if you get uh, some different uh, behavior.